Good day gamers and farmers. 19th of spring year one in Stardew Valley. It is a Friday. We are going to check the weather for tomorrow. Clear and sunny. Give me more rain. And the fortune teller says that today we'll have a little extra luck, which is awesome. Unfortunately, not a rainy day today, so we're going to need to collect our watering can to get everything going again. But what does this have? Farmer, Purple Mentat, I have a quest for, request for you. I need fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Can you bring me one? Oh, I forgot about this quest. We're going to accept that quest, but we're not going to be able to finish it until, well, it's going to be quite a while. Let's put it that way. Because we only have the one spare cauliflower that we have saved. Uh, luckily, we have a ton planted, so we'll be able You know what? We have a ton planted. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give her this cauliflower. Because I don't care. I don't mind waiting until the end of... I think I don't mind waiting until the end of spring to finish the spring crops bundle. But let me double check that before I say that for certain. So we're going to check out that spring crops bundle. Uh, the reward for the spring crops bundle is nothing significant. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring her this cauliflower right away because the request will get us some rep with her as well as increasing our, um, I, I, it should be some gold as well. As it is now the 19th, I think we stop finding berries at this point, but I'm not 100% certain. So, we can't collect our watering can until 9am. As such, we're going to spend some time gathering seeds first and doing a bit of foraging around some various parts of the valley. Linus has gotten two gifts already. Good, 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 good. Pet the kitty. Where, oh, where are my forageables? That's okay. I don't need any. Hello, Linus. Please don't destroy my tent. Wow. Just double wow. That poor guy. Why would someone destroy his tent? It's just mean. Uh, it's 8 a.m. Okay. Not actually enough time to run over to the other side of the lake. There are a couple of forageable spawn points that happen on the other side of the lake, but we are getting close to opening time for the blacksmith. So we'll just do a thorough sweep of town. Yeah, I'm not seeing any berries out there. It's possible that I've missed some, but I think that we are past salmon berry season. Still, 273 plus whatever I ate, pretty good harvest. I think that we did well on salmon berries this year. And it's open. Let's go ahead and um, forage the beach. Keep trying to say scavenge. Wow, nothing? Fortric is supposed to be better the day after it rains, especially on the beach. But instead, we have one sea urchin and one mussel. Then again, foraging is less likely... You're less like Oh, one oyster. You're less likely to find good forageables as the month progresses. So... Hello, Vincent. How are you today? But lentil soup is awesome! <sighs> Kids. What do they know, anyway? Blacksmith! Yay! Ba -da -da -da. Copper watering can get. The great thing about the copper watering can is not necessarily, uh, it doesn't, 
particularly hold more water and it's not less energy to water one space, but I can water three spaces at the cost of, in that case, three energy. Hmm, I thought that it was at uh, an energy discount, but I may be wrong. Maybe it's not. All right, it is Friday. I am looking for Jody. I don't remember which one Jody is. Are you Jody? You're Jody. <laughs> there we go. Mmm, yellow curry. And 350G, more importantly. Let's see. We need to get our crops watered first things first. So we're going to head back. And then I think after the watering happens, we'll be very short on time, but we should be able to come back down here and do some fishing because we do need to start working on our fishing skill a little bit. And as I'm no longer reliant on the, um, what are, what do you call them? Field snacks. I'm not going to worry about, uh, working on those, uh, on harvesting everything. Uh, that was four. That was four. That was three. That was four. So it looks like it's using three or four energy each time. That is, in fact, an energy discount, because to water three spaces would cost six. Okay. I'm going to count that as a win. We're going to be able to water things significantly faster and for less energy overall than we would be able to without the upgrade. That's assuming you don't make mistakes like that and accidentally screw up where you're watering. And unfortunately, until I clear out that stump, things are just going to be oddly shaped and not work perfectly. But that's fine. I can survive that. At least over on this side of the world. We're starting to feel exhausted. And that's why I have so many berries. By the way, just a real life tip. Never eat this many berries all in one go. And in reality, you will have some unfortunate side effects that you will not appreciate. I guarantee it. By which I mean like dozens and dozens and dozens of berries that are the size of your head. The actual quantities that I'd eat on a day-to-day -day basis in Sturdy Valley aren't a problem. It's more of the representational quantity. Whoops. But yeah, that cost one and a bit. So yeah, there we go. Not bad. I'm happy about that. Uh, 4, 10 p.m. We might be able to get through something in the mine, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to focus on the fishing. 
I want more fishing experience because I know that I'm going to need it for later on. And fish is good instant cash. Until we have another 800G, there's not a whole lot of point to getting further in the mine. Every Friday and Sunday, this person shows up. Ooh, look, pufferfish. That's one of the fish you need for the bundle. You can buy a random assortment of practically anything in the game from this person. It's worth checking out what they have, and it's definitely worth getting a handful of rare seeds before fall. They usually have rare seeds available, though, so I'm not too worried about it. So they offer a random assortment of items at random prices. I always check them out looking for a couple of specific rare items that are easier to get by spending the money than uh, any other option. But unfortunately, today is not our day. Wow, soggy newspaper. We catch the best things in this pond. Let's see, yesterday was Pam, which makes tomorrow Shane. Okay, excellent. Smallmouth bass? Indeed. Fishing experience is a relatively complicated formula. It is based on the star level of the fish you catch, the difficulty of that fish, whether you manage to get a perfect reel in or not, and whether it is a quote-unquote boss fish, because there are legendary boss level very, very hard to catch fish. But, bottom line is, your best bet to get maximum fishing experience, yay, fishing level one, is to come as close to that max cast as you can every time and try to get a perfect reel in. Those are the best things you can do to maximize your chances of leveling fishing quickly. Once you have slightly more skill than I do... You can instead um, focus on harder to catch fish. As you can see, now that I am level 1 in fishing instead of level 0, I have a higher, um, a, a slightly larger bar on my fishing bar. Makes it a lot easier to catch fish and especially easier to get perfects. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if I have enough fishing skill to reach it, but... Oh, it disappeared before I came down here. You want to keep your eyes open while you're fishing for pools of bubbles. They are fishing pools that will allow you to catch fish much, much faster. I saw one down here, but by the time I moved over here, it was gone. Nineteen. We can cast one more time before I need to eat some of that algae. Now, you might be wondering if I saw something that's super useful like the puffer fish in the shop, why I didn't bother spending the money yet. Well, it's not useful enough to warrant taking 800G out of my summer crops fund. Later on, 
It's a very common item. It'll show up again. Later on, 800G won't be that much of an issue. The only reason I'm bothering to check now is because I could end up getting something really awesome, like a sprinkler that covers a very large area. That would be worth spending the money on if I could afford it. Ooh. Opening the chests while you fish is another good way. That will increase your uh, experience gained per fish as well. So, if you can get good and open the chests, it's worth doing for the experience as well as the rewards. Well, usually worth it for the rewards. Three coal isn't exactly bad. Oh, whoops. I got myself exhausted. That's fine. The only thing that means is I'm guaranteed to wake up tomorrow with half energy. And that I shouldn't do much else or else I might pass out. Also, until I eat some food and restore a little bit of energy, I will walk extremely slow, like this. But I've got algae. Mmm, delicious green slime. There is an item that can heal the exhaustion, but it costs a thousand G. Definitely not worth it this early in the game. Eleven PM. All right, we're gonna make this cast and one more, and then we'll we'll call it a night. I'm gonna catch at least one more fish, though. Come on, come on. This pond is great early on. You're basically guaranteed nothing but junk and smallmouth bass. There we go. One last fish. And after this, time to head home, because I want to do a little bit of inventory management, make myself a fishing stuff chest before I head to sleep. Everything's all watered. Ah, so happy to have the watering can. So incredibly, phenomenally happy to have the watering can. I, there aren't even words for how happy I am to have the watering can. It's the one thing that is the most painful when I was restarting this repeatedly to try to uh, find a efficient route was the, the friggin' watering can. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put a fishing stuff chest right up here. Putting all of my chests outside right now because the interior of the house is going to change on me, and I also spend most of my time outside the house, so why not? Um, we're going to sell the starred fish and keep the non-starred fish for now because we're going to need quite a lot of fish later on. What? We're going to be able to also automate getting lots of fish quickly. Let's see. We got green algae, sea urchin. Or always keep your broken glasses. Those are worth it. And if you feel like gambling, it's worth keeping the soggy newspaper. I'm going to hang on to it because I don't mind gambling a little. And oysters. Oysters can... Mm, we'll keep the oyster. Everything else must go. Two Silver Star Smallmouth Bast. Uh, the trash isn't going to earn me anything, but it gets, out, gets it out of my inventory, and we'll get rid of the sea urchin. We'll hang on to the... Well, you know what? We'll ship one, just so it's been shipped once. But we'll hang on to the rest, just so that we can... Uh, that's right. Ship one of everything. Don't forget that. Uh, 
All right, off to bed we go. Uh, we're going to hang on to the rest of the green algae for extra energy in the morning because we're definitely going to need it as we are going to bed exhausted. All right, folks, that is all for today. Ooh, level five foraging. Nice. Okay, now, most people will tell you to take gathery, gatherer to get a chance for double harvest of foraged items. However, I'm going to take forester. The wood worth 50% more? Meh, it doesn't matter. It's not super great. It's not a big deal. Um, the gatherer can help a lot with earning money quickly. But the level 10 skills are based on what profession you choose at level 5. And if I take Gatherer, then I'm going to be locked into a choice between either a kind of a radar that shows me where foraging things are, or always getting gold quality foraging items, neither of which is super important to me. However, the Forester gives me a choice between having my tapped goods, the syrup, the pine tar, the oak resin, be worth 25% more, or being able to get hardwood out of chopping down regular trees. And getting hardwood from chopping down regular trees is worth picking forager for me. I don't rely on foraging for my money. It's just not what I do. <clears throat> All right, folks, hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Ooh, look, there's a, there's a little UFO flying by. What? Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If so, leave me a thumbs up. Tell me what you liked about it. If not, leave me a thumbs down and tell me what you'd like to see me do better. Either way, you want to see more of this series, please click subscribe below and I'll see you next time.